Another company exploits children. Are you retarded? It's not a rhetorical question. Are you retarded? At their own corporate benefit. And the media doesn't give two What the fuck? Well, call me shocked. I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this is What's Next. Good Wednesday, everyone. Thanksgiving Eve. I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next, your daily. Another store exploits children for their own bottom dollar. And yet the media doesn't give two fucks about it. Turns out that this is the same situation that happened with Target when they were, you know, had their little section regarding, you know, trans and what have you, you know, having little kids dress up, you know, in nice little tranny outfits, you know, because we want to be inclusive, diversity. And of course, Target got trashed because of it. You have people boycotting Target because of it, and rightly so. But yet, Target's just another store, another corporate entity that will continue to exploit children until somebody or something is done about it. But we're not here to talk about Target. No, 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 no. We're here to talk about another store. Turns out that Balenciaga, Balenciaga, I'm probably like butchering the name. I don't really give two fucks right now because, again, they're going after the kids. They get trashed because of a photo shoot involving a little girl and bondage. How fun. nice. Let's take a look. This comes out of Barry Bart. Valencia apologizes for creepy photo shoot with sexualized teddy bears and child porn court document. Luxury fashion company Balencia, if I'm pronouncing that right, like I said, I really don't give to issued Apology Tuesday for their recent ad campaign, which used pictures sexualizing children as they posed with teddy bears wearing bondage uniforms. One of the pictures included in U.S. Supreme Court case, U.S. v. Williams, which criminalized child pornography. The portion shown in the picture cites another Supreme Court case, Ashcroft v. Free Speech Coalition, which made virtual child porn protected speech. The company has been accused of normalizing child pornography by many. Quote, they are trying to chum up the attention by incorporating a sexual, a Supreme Court child porn pan pandering case as window dressing. National Center on Child Exploitation General Counsel Benjamin Bull said, it is connecting child porn with the product. The company faces significant backlash, resulting them in removing the pictures and issuing a forced apology because they don't give two fucks. They have also begun a legal action against the parties responsible for creating the set. Oh yes, let's go after the photographer and the set director. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're not going to get away with this, ass clowns. No. Quote, we apologize for displaying unsettling documents in our campaign, the company posted on Instagram. One posted, update, Balancio has now published, uh, has publicly apologized for and is taking legal action against the creator of their disturbing ad campaign featuring children with teddy bears and bondage gear alongside court documents about the legalization of virtual child sex abuse. The company uh, says that some of the items displayed and the pictures were unapproved, and that they strongly condemn the abuse of children in any form. Oh, how nice. Quote, we stand for children's safety and well-being, they continue. We sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. Our plush bears uh, should not have been featured with children in this campaign. We're outraged. Oh, I'm sure you are. One Twitter. The brand, Balancia, just did a interesting photo shoot with their new products recently which include a very purposely poorly hidden court document about virtual child porn you know it's just normal stuff this is not about uh, them being pro provocative excuse me this is not about be them being provocative and getting attention concerned women for america ceo penny nance told fox news the entire campaign sexualizes children period it's a child exploitation period and it feeds and normalizes a culture that is dark and depraved. 
Nicole Kidman is featured in Balenciaga's Spring 2023 collection, while Kim Kardashian and Bella Hadid, uh, Bella Hadid have been brand ambassadors. Um, let's wait for their response, shall we? My thoughts. Again, like I said in the beginning of this, another store, another company, more child exploitation. And I've said it sprinkled throughout the story that they don't give two fucks. They really don't. They don't give a damn. What they do care about is green. Care about the monies. And as long as the monies are flowing, they don't care who they got to run over. Doesn't matter. Target, this Balencia, you know, name another store. You know, it really doesn't matter. They don't. Um, I think Walmart, maybe JCPenney, maybe uh, the older brand stores have stayed away from this. Have stayed away from the nonsense. Well, no, 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 no. Walmart did do a little, uh, little, um, you know, little display of trans things. And of course, that got trashed immediately. But by parents who actually give a damn. Um, but regarding this, for the owner of the company to go after the photographer and the set director regarding all this, oh, uh, outrage. Oh, the virtue signaling. But when this story blows over, and it will because of, you know, the media. You know, they just, they, they have to move on to the next story. No, 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 this, this, is, this is not important. Just like Boston and them lopping off girls' breasts and Johnny's balls. That's not important. You know, another hospital in Philadelphia who does the same damn thing. That's not important. Groomers running around on libs of TikTok, but yet it's libs of TikTok's fault. It's not the groomer's fault. And then you have the media saying, hey, if you use groomers, you're anti-alphabet and it causes violence. No, just makes you more of an asshole. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.